Welcome back to our expert talk series. Rudel and Partner presents The Lighthouse Talks with our India experts. We are back again with Dipali Joshi to talk about the India strategy. During our last session, we spoke about the localization strategy and key considerations for developing a supplier base in India for the global requirements. Since localization is a vast and a very interesting topic, we will dedicate our today's session to local manufacturing. Welcome Dipali. Thank you Anushri. So Dipali moving further, as you mentioned earlier about the different stages of localization and one of them being the supplier development for global requirements. Uh, on those lines, uh, I would like to ask you, how can a multinational company take this to next level of localization? That's an interesting question. But before answering that question straight away, I would like to add a point here. Local manufacturing can open the door of government or public sector which runs an annual purchase budget of close to 50 to 80 billion dollars. It is called Public Procurement Program under Make in India initiative. But does that mean that a multinational company uh, needs to set up its own plant to qualify as a supplier for public procurement program? Surprisingly, Many people are not aware that a foreign company can qualify for the public procurement program by way of joint venture, contract manufacturing arrangement or cooperation with local companies. Of course, subject to the requirement of minimum local content in their product. Many people know about joint venture. Can you shed some light on contract manufacturing arrangement? Yes, Anushri. This term equally excites and scares many CSUs. If planned and managed wisely, the contract manufacturing arrangement allows the international company to test metal of Indian manufacturers. It can get its products manufactured under its own brand name and as per its own technical criteria with low capital investment. Then why is it that most of the corporate world is hesitant about contract manufacturing arrangements? With the word contract manufacturing, Many questions come to the mind. Will there be any quality issues? What will be my lead time? What about protection of my technology? So and so forth. But these challenges can be tackled with suitable operational and legal safeguard. As we mentioned during the last session, a structured scan will help the multinational company to understand the number and scale of manufacturers, their capabilities and accordingly select the right contract manufacturer for further discussion. Another operational safeguard would be to import critical components and procure non-critical components in India from the contract manufacturer. Last but not the least, having a clear and comprehensive contract manufacturing agreement is necessary to have with all possible commercial terms and legal safeguards such as non-compete, exclusivity, dispute resolution, amongst others. Going forward, depending on the business scenario, the comfort level, confidence level of both parties, this arrangement can transition into a joint venture or a company acquisition. I think this detailed discussion has really given food for thought to our audience for the localization plans. We will be happy to assist you in your entry or growth endeavors in the Indian market. Please do not hesitate to contact us. I'm sure the Pali will get a lot of inquiries. And with that, we will conclude our today's session. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Dear viewers, we would be delighted to stay connected with you via our series, Rudel and Partner presents The Lighthouse, talks with our India experts, with many more interesting and informative videos. So stay tuned and until then, please be safe, grow your business and play by the rules.